Dr. Chalupka, tell us about your work in climate change and education. Well, according to Standard 17 of the Standards of Professional Nursing Practice, in the third edition of ANA's, ANA's Nursing Scope and Standards of Practice, the registered nurse practices in an environmentally safe and healthy manner. Therefore, environmental health is threaded throughout our nursing curriculum. And clearly, climate change is a very important dimension of environmental health. We integrate climate change throughout the undergraduate nursing curriculum. For example, examining children as a special at-risk population in the pediatric nursing course. In our leadership course, students write letters to legislators about climate and health-related issues. For example, the Clean Power Plan and its impact on public health. At the graduate level, I teach primarily in the Community Public Health Nursing Program, we do quite a bit with climate change based on themed semesters with an assigned book each semester. Merchants of Doubt is our fall text. And in the spring, the students are required to read Windfall. In the MS program, we examine many things addressed in the undergraduate program, but in uh, greater depth with a clearer focus on adaptation and mitigation, including climate resilient cities, reducing vulnerability to disaster, and enhancing healthcare resilience for a changing climate. Finally, we organize a two-day university-wide teach-in on uh, climate change each fall with speakers representing disciplines across the university. Topics this year range from climate change and mental health to smart apps for sustainability. We also have an essay contest with an award, film screenings, exhibits, and even hands-on activities. What are opportunities for nurses in addressing and or responding to climate change? Well, we focus on resilient cities and healthcare in our curriculum because I think those two areas present enormous opportunities for nurses. I think that nurses are very well positioned to identify local vulnerabilities, promote education, and to promote public dialogue and to help build resilience.